No, I don't. I don't believe that uh, that President Trump is a racist. Um, you know, the 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 uh, history of, of of race in America is is obviously uh, scattered with with these quotes, and you can you can pick them from right and left. Hillary Clinton calling black people super predators. Um, you can you can pick them across the political divide. I think what we have to what we have to look at is people's actions um, rather than you know you, you you know all due respect you can read off a list of things that he said that you interpret as perhaps um, untoward but you also haven't read off a list of the things he's done and he's doing by the way tell me which helps uh, black people tell in me. the United States I will absolutely tell you there great housing development projects in New York City that helped regenerate neighborhoods uh, in which the, it, was, it was either a majority or a significant number of ethnic minority people. Uh, there, was, there was loads of organizations and institutions that he gave money to, charitably gave money to, over the course of his private life as an individual, which also helped these things. You look at now in the United States of America what he's doing in challenging uh, the, the uh, collapse of manufacturing here in the U.S. as well, where I currently am. And it's actually the ethnic minority communities that seek to benefit most from this because they're the ones being put out of jobs when jobs get outsourced to places like China and things like that. And that's why, actually, you had a greater turnout from black voters for President Trump than would have turned out for any other of the Republican candidates, the 17 other that stood on that stage with him. Mitt Romney couldn't turn out those numbers. Ted Cruz couldn't turn out those numbers. You'll remember, of course, he said, what do black people have to lose? Because they had a black president here in the United States for eight years, and black voters came out of the Obama administration saying, well, actually, we didn't get anything from that. We, you know, our, 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 our purposes in voting for this person was to improve our lots, and our lots did not improve over those eight years. So I think it's more of a situation where I won't, you know, I won't say, oh, you know, he's completely uh, devoid of any blame for anything he's done. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is we have to put it in the context of actually both sides are incredibly culpable when it comes to the plight of ethnic minorities in the United States. And it doesn't serve anyone's purpose to sort of divvy them up into these sort of well, petty not, nationalist Yeah, groups. OK, can I just and say I something? Can I just say something? N- not mm, mm. Well, <laughs> to, to say let's not talk about identity politics in relation to Donald Trump is, is, is a bit rich, but we can come back to that in a second. Why? The, the, well, well I'll, I'll, tell, okay. I'll tell you in a minute. I just wanted to focus on what you said okay. before <laughs> that point. When you, when e- e- even Barack Obama... Even Barack Obama um, has he has made it very clear that from the point of view of his presidency, he was never going to be able to do enough about race because it, it can't be just the job of a president to heal the racial wounds and the racial disparities that exist, not just in America, but in America in, in their case, because racism isn't just personal, is it? It's in any society where racism is, it exists. It exists in the foundations of that society. Would you accept that, Raheem um, Kassan? Yes, I do. Y- yes. So I it can never be about that, one man. Like. So, so uh, asking, asking whether. Right, but you, you're the one who's making it about one man. This segment is about Donald Trump. Yes. Uh, if we want to have a that, that's what I'm saying to you. Guys, I, but I am making it. No, I am making it about one man. I, I, because I want to know whether, well, you've told me you do not believe he is racist. But I also, the, the reason I bring Obama's comments in was, it, it's not. Asking asking about one man's approach to race isn't about solving racism. It's simply about asking about that man or woman's character. Yes, I think. And I solving think racism is a much deeper it's, job, it's longer Martin job, Luther, harder job than that. Of, of course, and it's Martin Luther King weekend here. It's a long weekend here in the United States, and 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 President Trump appeared on uh, a stage with uh, Martin Luther King's uh, descendants and family members on Friday. Um, to, to talk just about that. I think this comes down to economics at the end of the day. Uh, what it really comes down to for, for black voters in the United States is, is can they get jobs? Um, can, they, can, they, can they make a living? Can they improve their lot in life? Are they, are they leaving for their children uh, better than they inherited? And I would argue that this president is doing more for those people than, than, than the last administration did. And I don't think there's much, much evidence but, to say that that's the contrary. But, but uh, Raheem Kassam... But Ra- Raheem oh, yeah. Kassam, jobs, right. of course, matter. E- the economy matters, of course. But a-, a person in any society, whatever colour they are, they need they need more than just a job, don't they? Rosa Parks had a job, but she couldn't sit where she wanted to on a bus. It's It's about more than that. It's about a president leading from the front and saying powerfully that everybody in the country deserves equal respect.
Yeah, I think that's absolutely right. I don't think I've ever heard him say it. Did um, I miss that? Did I miss that speech? I think I, I think you did miss it. I think he said it multiple times, in fact. And I think he's also given in, in incredibly long speech, lengthy speeches during the campaign on this. I was disappointed uh, and on the back of Charlottesville, but I understand that what he was seeking to do on the back of Charlottesville, and I was there in Charlottesville on the day, by the way, and what he was seeking to do was there was a lot of confusion about who these groups were, who they were acting on behalf of, and who was constituent parts of these separate protest groups um, in Charlottesville. There weren't just two sides, by the way. There were a whole bunch of different groups and he was waiting to hear back from his advisors well who am i talking about when i go out and condemn people on mass well and, and, and it's well, when the when one of those well when one he, of those groups sought- but when one of those groups is holding yeah. nazi flags it's quite easy to say who you're talking about isn't it you're talking about neo-nazis well,